Most of what happens during Super Bowl week has little to do with football. Media day is no exception. Do you listen to Madonna at home? Does Giselle ever listen to Madonna? Is she going on? Not so often, no. No? No. Not a lot of Madonna in our house. You are the dragon. Be. I can't be. You are the dragon. One of these guys will be Your the beard is the dragon. Not Media day grew out of the early Super Bowls. In the 1960s, reporters would show up at the team's hotel and track players down as they sat by the pool. A little later, the NFL set aside a day during which reporters could meet with players one-on-one. -on -one. It was a pretty sedate affair, but not anymore. Media Day is an event all to itself. It's always on Tuesday of Super Bowl week, and it always starts in the morning. The media is given one hour of access to the AFC champion. First time something like that's ever happened to me, and uh, it, was a, it was a big play. And one hour of access to the NFC champ. Oh, very fortunate, very blessed. Um, like I said, the, the main goal this year was, was to, to pretty much win our, the NFC East. We, we accomplished that, and the ultimate goal was to get here to the Super Bowl, and now we're here. So we hadn't finished yet. We, we have one more goal, and that's, that's to win it. This is my 16th Super Bowl, therefore my 16th media day. The teams change, but the questions and the answers stay in many ways much the same. One thing has changed this year about Media Day. All of these fans, several thousand of them, paid $35 a pop to come here and see this show. They will play a game on Sunday. They always do. But on Media Day, that fact can be easy to forget. From Super Bowl 46 in Indianapolis, I'm Bill Coates.